In this video, we're going to take a look at a refinement of Nash equilibria called subgame perfection. So consider this extensive form game, which is nothing new. Um, player one makes decisions at this node and these two nodes, which live in the same information set, and player two makes one decision here. Now, what's cool is that you can take a an extensive form game and find a unique representation in terms of, well, of the ordering of strategies in a normal form. So first things first, we have to get the strategies. And here they are. So the strategy set for player one is L and then U, L and then D. The other strategy for player one is R and then U, R and then D. Even though you're not going to get there, you still need to say what you would do if you were there. So these strategies say what you do at any node. And then the strategy set for player two is much simpler. So then once we've done this, we can write down the normal form representation, because we, if we know the strategies, we know their outcomes from, from the extensive form. So that minus 2, 3 simply comes from here, where it was the first strategy against the first strategy, so it's LU against little L, so L against little L against big U, minus 2, 3. We can look at this and uh, use all the techniques we've seen so far and pretty quickly get that the Nash equilibria is right here. And this brings us on to two new definitions. First of all, a definition of a subgame. That's a very natural definition. It basically says that you, you don't lose any information, and when you look at a particular subpart of that extensive form tree, um, it's still a game within a game. And then from that, if for any Nash equilibria of our game, we define subgame perfect equilibria um, to be when a subgame, sorry, when the Nash equilibria for the entire game is also a Nash equilibrium for each subgame. And if it is, then it's called subgame perfect. So here is the same game we've had so far, which remember with, with this as an Nash equilibrium. And we've only got one subgame to worry about, this one here. And so now what we need to check is that our original Nash equilibrium is also an Nash equilibrium for this subgame. Here is the normal form of this subgame where we, we don't have to worry about these two strategies because we're only in this subgame. So we're in this subgame. Once player A chooses L, is there anything here? And the definition of a subgame simply means that there's no information sets that go that are going out here. That everything here knows everything here. And so now we look at this game and we have to simply check if 4-2 is still an Nash equilibrium. Again, we can very simply see that um, this row is the best response to this column. And similarly, this column is the best response to this row, which gives us that yes, our Nash equilibrium is subgame perfect. Importantly, not all Nash equilibrium is subgame perfect. Subgame perfection is a refinement of Nash equilibrium, and so we'll see games where the Nash equilibrium is not subgame perfect.